one day the YouTube algorithm decided to show me this guy. And he made this. And I didn't like how he did it, so I decided to do it a little different. I figured I could design this in SolidWorks as sheet metal. And that would let me unfold it so that I could print it flat on my 3D printer. And because I'm printing it flat, it's not going to take as long. So I drew it all up, unfolded it, and sent it over to my printer. And then it did this. And gave me that. So let's put it together. Take the board, drop it in. Make sure it's seated all the way down against the standoffs. And there's no flex in the board. I'm going to stick the battery down with a little bit of blue tack. That's the stock battery that comes in the Viper, so it gets right in. Now we put our thumb buttons in. The thumb buttons have two little tabs that fit into slots. The front slot is a little tighter than the back slot, so it takes a little bit of force. Just be careful not to break the board and push straight down on it while you're putting it in, and it slides right in. Now we'll start our torch. You could probably do this with a lighter, but I have this, so I'm going to use it. And I like to start with the thumb buttons keep the heat on the thicker parts where it thins out to allow for the flexibility of the click doesn't take that much heat so we concentrate the heat where the switch gets a little wider and just hold it in place while it cools off can help it a little bit by blowing on it. For the side grip, kind of brush the heat across where we want the bend to happen. So you can see just back and forth, never keeping the heat in one place for very long. You just want to soften the plastic, not scorch it. some shape at the top so that a bit of a sharp edge isn't digging in to my fingers. So I'm going to heat up the top edge just a little bit until it softens and then I'm going to roll it in based on how I grip the mouse. You can see how it's kind of wavy and curled. Let's fold the battery into place. Fold the front till it touches the supports for the thumb button PCB. Hold it in place and cool it off. Then you can see there, almost see where the battery holder 
touches the standoff for that PCB, little support back there. a very light press there's almost no resistance or added resistance over what the actual switch takes to actuate Push the button on the back. Comes on, no problems. All in weight, but the battery, the thumb switches, switch PCB, all that can go away to make it much lighter.